Welcome to the Cause Marketing Insight Series. In this episode, we'll highlight some of the campaigns I admire most. Because these cause promotions do more than simply advertise the product. In fact, the cause marketing itself becomes a product enhancement and a meaningful benefit. Watch this, you'll see what I mean. Canteen just released some commercials starring football players trying to do their daughter's hair. I don't know why they make these barrettes so complicated for guys. Pantene created a new way for dads to spend time with their daughters. Hairdos by dad, or dad dues. My dad's giving me a dad do. When you see an ad like that, it's a winner. Oh, oh boy, that's so sweet. I'm, I'm buying that shampoo. And a lot of dads did. But what is Pantene really? Absent the marketing, when you pour Pantene out of the bottle, it's a liquid combination of chemicals delivered via convenient spray. There's nothing inherent in this liquid that builds bonds between dads and daughters. I mean, let's look. The main ingredients of Pantene hair detangler are water, phenoxyethanol, trisodium, and something called amodimethicone. There is nothing intrinsic in any of those chemicals that would help girls to grow up to be confident, self-reliant adults. Yet when cause marketing is infused as an added ingredient of Pantene, check out the Earn Media. Featured in the new Strong is Beautiful ad, New Orleans Saints tight end Benjamin Watson and his two little girls. Want to do, whether it's doing their hair, whether it's riding bikes, it's about connecting and showing them that they're important and that they're worth my time. You look in the mirror, who do you see? That Strong is Beautiful. Dads can teach their daughters a lot, and it really does help young girls grow to be strong women. And using cause marketing as a consumer benefit really can help brands grow by strengthening existing customer relationships or attracting product trials by new customers, like IHOP does on Veterans Day by offering free red, white, and blue pancakes to veterans and active duty military. Applebee's goes even further with its Veterans Day cause marketing. A lot of companies today are saying thank you mm -hmm. in very special ways to active military members. They're actually offering discounts and deals. For example, Yay. Applebee's, free meal, from a special menu, you get a $5 coupon that can be redeemed. That's November 12th oh, through the 27th. Oh. Did you catch that? Not only is Applebee's using a special menu of seven feature items to encourage product sampling, the free Veterans Day meal is accompanied by a time-limited $5 coupon, incentivizing a return visit within two weeks with the hope of converting a single annual visit into an ongoing habit. Applebee's benefits. Veterans benefit when the consumer directly benefits from the cause marketing, which is quite different than the typical cause campaign where the primary beneficiary is someone other than the customer. The typical construction is, if you buy product X, we'll donate money to children in need or to save the whales or to victims of natural disasters. In other words, for a typical cause campaign, your purchase triggers support for a cause other than you. But in the Pantene example, and the IHOP example, and the Applebee's example, the prospective customer is the direct beneficiary. Let's quickly look at a couple more campaigns to drive home the point, like a bank which sought to increase savings accounts while addressing the obesity problem. With Emirates NBD's fitness account, you can now save more with every step. Get the app and open a fitness account today. The savings account, aka fitness account, offers a variable interest rate, which depends on the number of steps that the customer walks or runs each day. Walk more, earn more interest, reduce obesity, win-win. And you gotta see this final case study. To help reduce dengue fever, a Sri Lankan newspaper engaged in a week-long campaign to educate the public about how to reduce mosquito-borne illness. On the final day of the campaign, they modified their printing process to mix citronella with ink to create the world's first mosquito-repellent newspaper. A newspaper where all the letters of all the words help Sri Lankans stop dengue. And the results were inspiring. Even with a bigger print run, the paper sold out by 10 a.m., a sales increase of 30%. But what was even more remarkable was that the newspaper's readership increased by 300,000, allowing us to help and educate more people than we ever expected. 
So for those ad execs and brand managers who are watching, next time you're brainstorming how to break through with your ad budget, you could do traditional awareness advertising, or you could use cause marketing as a product enhancement to make a meaningful difference in people's lives with the dual purpose of being rewarded for it.